She's gross. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Hey guys. Hey guys. Hey guys. Hey guys. So today I'm going to be doing a Q&A for hitting 100,000 subscribers. Yeah. We hit 100,000 subscribers and I just want to say thank you so I decided to do a Q&A um, and I'm also going to be doing my makeup and my hair because a lot of the questions I get are how do you do your makeup, how do you do your hair, so I thought I'd kill two birds with one stone and answer some questions while I get ready. Thank you guys for 100,000, I don't deserve it at all. And let's get into the Q&A and you're about to see me with no makeup. I'm gonna start off with the most frequently asked questions I get a lot on my channel or on my videos. The number one thing is how old are you? I'm 16. Aww. I also get asked a lot about editing, what I use to edit, what do I film on, how do I edit. But yeah, if you're wondering what program I use, I use Final Cut Pro. I've tried using Premiere Pro and After Effects. Personally, it's a little bit confusing for me. That's just because I've been using iMovie and then Final Cut Pro for- oh my god. My beauty blender's on the floor and I just stepped on it. Sanitary. Final Cut Pro is easy for me right now and it's what I already have so I don't really want to go out and buy Premiere Pro or After Effects right now when Final Cut Pro is really what's working for me. Anyways, I have already done my eyebrows. I used the Anastasia Dip Brow and I used the NYX Control Freak Brow Gel. I didn't want to do them on camera because like who wants to see that? No one. I cleaned up my eyebrow with concealer and I put concealer on my eye and... <gasps> set it with some setting powder. I'm not doing anything special with my eyeshadow, I'm just doing a little, a little shading, a little contouring on my eyeball. Millie Kay asked, what has been your favorite movie slash TV show that you've seen lately and could you do a review? Okay, my favorite show that I've been watching right now is Deadly Class. Welcome to King's Dominion. Rain check on the celebration. You're at the bottom of the food chain. I finished it, I love that show so much. I love Lana Condor. A lot of people ask me to do a reaction to it but there's some shows that I just like watching on my own or movies that I just like watching on my own and I don't want to like set up a camera every single time I want to watch an episode. I really do love Debbie Class. It's one of my favorite shows. I think it's really interesting and it's based off of a comics. It's uh, produced by the Russo brothers which we know those motherfuckers are crazy but it's really good and I really recommend it if you're looking for a new TV show and you love like gory kind of like darker things because it's it's very dark and it's not that gory and it's not that scary like I wouldn't compare it to like American Horror Story I don't think it's scary it's just gory and it has some dark concepts in it and a dark theme to it basically it's like an assassin school so if that tells you anything one thing in the show that they do really well is when they tell backstories they use um, animation they use the cartoon animations or the comic animations animations in it and I think that's really cool and it adds such a cool aspect to the show and really separates it from you know other teen shows I don't really know if it's a teen show I mean they're in high school but a recent movie that I just watched that I I had like a really love-hate relationship was assassination assassinations nation assassinations nation you may kill me but she can't kill us all it had a really cool and interesting concept. That's what drew me in from the trailer, but it felt a little bit over dramatic to me at some points, but that was the whole point. At some points in the film, it does seem a little bit too like, this is a message, this is like all this kind of stuff, but honestly, I kind of liked it. There's like one specific shot that is so cool. It's just this long shot when they're like in a house and like some dramatic stuff is happening and they it's just like, they shoot it from the outside of the house and they just pan from like window to window to show what's happening and it's really long but it's really cool and through the film it has a lot of different like colors in it like red is a really key color in it that they use a lot and the lighting it's just very interesting and it's very like visually stimulating. I liked it and I didn't like it. I wanted to do a whole video on it because I felt like there was so much to say about it. I wrote like three paragraphs on it in my like 
laptop because I had so much to say about it but no one to talk to. <laughs> so if you guys want me to do a video on Assassinations Nations, I would love to do it. I'm not gonna do a reaction to it because it's like, what's there to react to? I would have to cut out like the whole thing because it's so graphic, so not doing that. I'm gonna do my eyeliner. A lot of people ask me how I do my wings. I don't know what to tell you on that one. Major for the past like two, mm, probably like two or three years I've used the NYX Epic Ink Liner. It's a brush tip, which I prefer. I like brush tips way more than felt tips. But recently I've been using this Benefit Roller Liner. Oh, I messed it up. With a felt tip. Why I'm using it is because it's matte. This one's not matte. It's like a shiny finish, which I don't like. Brush chips are great if you want a really like clean wing, but you definitely have a lot less control with it because it's- Oh my god. What can you do when you good as good enough? I messed it up. That's as good as it's gonna get. Oh shit. Now I'm gonna do my inner corner highlight. For this, I use the Kaja Beauty, Be Beauty Bento in the color Rose Water. And then on top of that, I'm gonna use my Stila Liquid Metals in the shade Ballet Baby. I personally like that kind of more chunky, glittery effect in the inner corner. Kitty Fitzpatrick asked, How'd you get into movies? What was the first movie you remember watching? Would you consider yourself a movie expert? So how'd I get into movies? I feel like, I don't really know. Like I don't really know if I'm into movies. Maybe I just have a stronger appreciation for them now. Cause I feel like everyone's into movies. I feel like if you watch movies, you're just into them. And most people watch movies. If you don't, I'm a little scared of you. That's kind of like a weird question to me. Cause I don't really know how to answer it. Cause like, to me, I never thought that I was more into movies than say like the average person walking down the street. But I guess I am because the average person on the street would not make five videos on the Twilight series. <laughs> the first movie I ever watched, I don't really know. I, I don't, does anyone remember the first movie they watched? Um, I don't. It was probably a Disney movie or something. It was probably like Cinderella. And would I consider myself a movie expert? Definitely not. Um, my reviews would be better if I considered myself a movie expert. I don't know like anything about film, um, but I want to learn more about it, so yeah. Oh my god, this is so pretty. Personally, I like the really high shine in a corner. Some people don't like it. Um, and that's a okay. It's so pretty, I wanna cry. Nisa, 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 Nisa Cassandra, Nisa Cassandra. What is your favorite movie of all time? The favorite movie of all time that I will probably never turn off if it's on and will continue to watch just because I love it so much is Mulan. I know. It's so good and if you don't like Mulan, I really, I, I can't like you. Everyone like brings up Mulan when they're like, girl power, yeah. But I, I don't really think that movie was about like girls can do what boys can do. <laughs> like I, I really think it was like this like truly like Asian message about honor to your family and like how important your parents are and all that stuff. And I really love it. And if you have not seen it, I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> like I am so passionate about Mulan. It's a little too close. Don't stand so, don't stand so close to me. I feel like how we just all pretend that Rachel didn't have a whole episode where she was in love with Mr. Shu. Like, I don't know why we all like forget that that happened and he literally had to sing her a song and be like, don't stand so close to me. If you guys ever wonder what eyelashes I use, I use Dodo lashes. The ones I use are in 316. That's too long. I can see it from a mile away. That shit's too long. Lauren asked, which movie has been the most fun to film a reaction to? Anything that is like truly bad, I have such a fun time filming reactions to. And usually the ones that I can talk a little bit more in and like make jokes are some of my more favorite ones. Like, a legion or like where hands touch my most popular video on the channel was actually one of those videos that i filmed and i didn't like it i filmed for two hours there's got to be at least 20 minutes of good reactions and luckily i found 
a lot of good bits that I really enjoyed. That was probably one of the most fun videos to edit just because it was like, I had a lot of fun with the scenes and just like the little jokes that were happening. I really liked it. Ellie Reinhardt asked, how tall are you? I'm five eight, maybe like five seven riding on five eight. I don't really know. I, I kind of question my height sometimes because I'm like, I can't be five eight. Yeah, I think in my videos, I look a lot shorter than I am because I'm always sitting down. I'm a little bit tall for being an Asian girl and neither my parents are that tall either. My parents are like average height. The average height for a girl is like 5'6 and I feel like the average height for like an Asian girl is probably like 5'2 or 5'3. So the fact that I'm 5'8, I'm Asian is like, it's interesting. Harold Harold asked, who are your favorite YouTubers? I feel like this is like so obvious, like who my favorite YouTubers are. Obviously, pretty much it and Dylan is in trouble. Dylan is in trouble is like a huge tell because like my videos are just the knockoff version of his. <laughs> I'm sorry. I love both of their videos. They're the reason why I started doing commentaries because I watched probably all of their commentaries. I'm using the NYX Angel Veil Primer and then a little bit of the Wet n Wild Dewy Luminix. 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 Face Primer. For foundation, I'm using Nars Sheer Glow. <laughs> Concealer, I'm using Maybelline Dream Lumi Concealer and NARS La Radiant Creamy. Olivia asked, I noticed from your Riverdale video that you like K-pop, who are your favorite groups? A lot of people have noticed that I, I do quite like K-pop. Not as much as I used to. I used to be like a, like a, like a very hardcore fan. Ah, uh, well obviously I like BTS, like everyone does. I like Blackpink, obviously. Got seven. I like Twice. I like A Pink. I like Day Six. Uh, solo artists, I really like uh, Changa and Sunmi. For blush, I'm using the Kaja Beauty um, Little Heart Cushion Blush in the shade Koi. Gonna take it and just do a little. Cute. Out. I like a lot of blush, some people don't. Um, do what makes you happy. <laughs> <laughs> to set the rest of my face, I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier Candle Glow Powder. Allison asks, what got you started in YouTube slash why did you choose to do movie commentaries? Um, um, yeah, I think I was just like a normal 2000s baby that wanted to make YouTube videos. And then why I started doing movie commentaries, obviously from pretty much it and Dylan is in trouble. Um, but I used to do show reactions. You can't see them on my channel anymore because they got blocked, but I actually did all of Stranger Things season two. Um, I did Teen Wolf reactions. They got taken down too. Uh, the only reason why I started doing movies is because of the channels that I was watching and then also because of To All The Boys I Love Before. To All The Boys I Love Before was the first like commentary I filmed sort of. Um, it's literally me in front of my, my, my MacBook just watching the movie and it's, Kind of bad but um it's there on my channel if you want to watch it i'm taking that steel of liquid metals again and then putting it wow. on the inner part of my lower lash line savc the avenger asks do you like to read if so what is your favorite book i really don't read that much i wish i read more but i go into phases so if i start reading a book like and i like it i'll finish it that day um, the last book I read was Carry On by Rainbow Rowell and I finished it the same day I got it. If I don't like it, I won't finish it. Like, I literally don't care. I'm using the Elf Highlighter, by the way. This is in Moonlight. It's the baked one. It's really good. You guys should check it out. But my favorite books of all time is The oh. Fox Home Court. And like, I know some people, most people probably don't know about it, but if you don't, you should go read them because they're the best books I've ever read, read in my life. They're so interesting. I've probably reread them about, mm, I would say like three times since I got them. I go through them a lot. They're just the best books ever. The covers is really what I think <laughs> is its major flaw and I feel like that's why people don't gravitate towards it because of the cover and they 
they judge the book based off its cover and like don't judge a book based off its cover i feel like the covers really do make it seem like it's not gonna be that good of a book but trust me it's a really good read it's got such a good story and i've wanted to make a video on it for a really long time i've tried to make videos on it like i think three times at this point but every single time i try to film a video on it i can never just do it justice and really get out my thoughts of what i want to say about it but it's just the best and i love the foxhole core i love all three of the books they're so good my favorite one is probably i really like the kingsman because it's just the fattest one and i really loved that it was so long <laughs> for lips i'm gonna use the kaja beauty heart melter gloss stick cute then i take my fenty beauty gloss and i put it over top of it um if you see me wearing any type of lip gloss in any video it's this one because it's just so good um, a lot of people ask me what i use to curl my hair or what's my hair care routine all that stuff i uh, do not take care of my hair <laughs> I'm the worst for taking care of my hair. I wash my hair every day because that's how I grew up. And you would think my hair would be really dry from washing it every day, but I think it's pretty okay. Looks fine to me. Um, I've also bleached my hair two times. I don't have any special hair care routine, but I will show you how I curl it. So. As you can see, my hair is already kind of curled, but it's kind of a little bit fallen. And I'm gonna recurl some pieces to show you how I curl it. This is the Hot Tools one in one fourth inch one. I just go like this, hold it, move it, curl it, and then I undo one, and then I curl it back up. Then I release it. For my top pieces, to make them look a little bit nicer, I open this and slide the curl or the pair into it like this. So basically, if I just had like a normal one, but this one has a clip on it, so I just move the clip out of the way, pop it into my hand, hold it a little bit, and then you get a nice little pouncy curl. Um, Ruby Rogers asked, are you homeschooled? If so, is there a specific reason? <laughs> I have kind of mentioned in a few videos, kind of hinted at that I'm homeschooled. Yes, I am homeschooled. Fun fact about me, I'm homeschooled. I've been homeschooled since I only went to kindergarten. So basically homeschooled for my entire life. There's no specific reason. I'm gonna see how my hair looks in a different mirror. What I'm gonna do is, first of all, make your part how you want it. Mine's the way I want it. Then just kind of eyeball it and part down to your ear, all the way down to your ear so there's a nice part. section these pieces off something like that okay so now you, you look like this and it's really cute I just take my hair this hair and I create a half up half down something like that okay I did it and you need a little a little a little rubber band um, I mean, you could leave it like this if you wanted to. It's not that, you know, it's not that bad of a look. Okay, so then I grab my pieces. I take this ponytail, I pull it over, and I grab these pieces under it. And then I secure it. How I do my ponytail. <laughs> Someone asked me what is the weirdest comment I've gotten on any of my videos. Um, I don't really get weird comments. I get a lot of comments from like babies, not like baby babies, but like young, like 12 year olds, especially on my Riverdale videos. Oh my god. And like, no offense to 12 year olds, but like some of your peers are annoying. But like, I get it. I was annoying as a 12 year old too. But like, geez, wow. I don't really get weird comments. Um, I get. Pfft, 
mean comments. Yeah, that's for damn sure. Um, a lot of people, a lot of people make fun of my voice, and then like the cancer in me jumps out because that like really like it hits a little hard though. But like it's fine, you know. I never had an issue with my voice before I started making videos, and then everyone started like once my videos started getting more popular, people were like, "What the fuck is wrong with her voice?" Someone told me I sounded like I was a boy going through puberty. Sparks fly. It's like electricity. I might die. And that one hit. I get it. My voice is a little bit deeper, but I can't change it. So you're gonna have to deal with it. Okay, I think that's all the questions I have today. I hope you guys liked this. I hope you feel satisfied by me doing my makeup. Um, a lot of people ask me to do it a lot of the time, and I don't know why. And I didn't even do anything crazy. I just did winged eyeliner and I put on false eyelashes, but now you know. And I did my hair for you guys, so I hope you liked it. <laughs> also, thank you for 100,000 subscribers. Um, that's so great, and I never thought I'd reach it. So thank you. If you want, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at tkalevel. Um, if you wanted to know where I got these questions from, I actually posted it on my YouTube community tab. So in the future, if you want to ask me questions, it'll be on my community tab on YouTube. Um, maybe on Twitter, maybe on Instagram. I don't really know. Probably most likely on the community tab on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe so you can see more videos from me and turn on the notifications bell as well if you like to be notified every single time I post a video. And that wraps it up for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Oh